Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. Now, in this video tutorial series, we're going to be looking at Ajax. Now, Ajax isn't specifically relative to PHP. However, many PHP applications um, or websites you may create with PHP can be massively enhanced with Ajax because what we can do is we can create applications that allow us to say click a button or type a, uh, some kind of data in and we can grab data from a database or a text file or um, just simply include a, include, um, a, uh, a PHP file onto our page that gives us dynamic information so updated information and Ajax has been used for a long time now um, and recently started to um, be created more popular we're in 2011 when this video is being recorded so uh, it's extremely popular on the web so why is Ajax special uh, what makes it special and I'm just going to talk to you a bit about the features of Ajax that create uh, that create a more dynamic web experience, if you like. Now, Ajax first of all stands for asynchronous, asynchronous JavaScript and XML, and what this means is that we can process um, data through, uh, well, behind the scenes of our website, um, just using uh, JavaScript and um, XHTML as well, or HTML. So um, it asynchronously um, sends a value and retrieves something without having to reload the entire page. So if you think about a, a web page in general, you have, uh, let's say we're on index.php at the moment, you have some data on a page and you click a, a, a form, for example, to maybe submit a registration. Or you might just click a button to retrieve a list of values that you've uh, typed in a search box, for example. So you may have a search box on your web page, um, this may return a value. Now usually you would use um, a form uh, submit, so you would say, let's just break out of our PHP tags, we would say form action equals uh, something, uh, method equals something, uh, come down here, we would enter, we would create a submit button, and what would happen is when we press this submit button, we're taken to the form action. Now what we can do is we can specify buttons just on their own, and what these do is they will send a, um, um, they will uh, call a function inside of our header. So if we were to set up a standard page like this, sorry, start the head tag, and then end the head tag, start the body, end the body, so a very badly written out um, HTML document here. We've got um, head, we can um, include some JavaScript, so we could say script type equals text forward slash JavaScript, and then end that there. So this is a general um, setup for a website, we've got an input button here. What we can do is we could say on click equals, and then we could call a function within JavaScript, so we could say um, update um, page, for example. Now up here, we may have a function in JavaScript called update page, which is going to call uh, and work with Ajax. We're not going to give any examples in this introduction video, but it would call um, this function and it would process some kind of Ajax um, code, if you like, or, or the methodology or the methods uh, used with Ajax to actually update a certain area on the page. So for example, below here, we could have a div ID uh, equals um, page for example okay so this might grab an, a PHP document and it might update um, this div with the contents of the PHP document so this is obviously a very basic example we're just updating uh, perhaps some data from a PHP file and popping it onto a page but using this method we won't actually um, refresh the page. Now I've just given you sort of like an example of how it may work. This this code obviously is, is not might not be how we actually do it but um, it's very similar and this is just the general method that we will use uh, in order to update values without having to refresh a page. So why can this be useful in everyday applications? Well for example when we go to uh, over to Google, you'll notice that we have a feature in Google called auto suggest. And what happens is, is when we, uh, I'll just briefly explain. When we, um, when we look at Google, we type in a value into a text box, which is uh, placed in the centre of the screen. So we start typing, um, let's say PHP. Now, what uh, what Ajax um, 
well the the part that Ajax plays in this is what it will do it will automatically get the updated um, value of this text box so let's say we just start typing uh, we'll create an in input type so we can uh, search box sorry Put type equals text and uh, name equals search box okay so what's gonna happen is is we're gonna start typing something for example into here so we might start typing PHP now as we type P it's gonna get the value of this text box which is equal to P at the moment and it's gonna search a database for the most popular um, searches relating or that start with P then we're going to say PH so it's going to and then it's going to then re-update itself without obviously having to refresh the page because if you were to refresh the page every time you type something uh, you'd have absolute pandemonium, pandemonium pandemonium and it would not work so we've got PH and then we type P and it's going to find the most um, search for results uh, with PHP so that's just generally oh that's just generally how it works so um, this uses Ajax Google or Google suggest uses Ajax and a variety of other websites too as well Facebook uses Ajax and this is uh, this uses it in a really interesting way when you're looking at a Facebook say news feed you'll be looking at the news feed uh, straight up and down and you'll have your mouse still now you look at your you look at your page and nothing will update. Then what you'll do is you'll move your mouse very slightly. It only has to literally be one pixel that you move your mouse, and your page will actually update. Now what happens here is we have an on mouse move or on mouse event um, trigger. So when you move your mouse, bits of the page are updated using Ajax. So it will be automatically updated from the database using Ajax. The same with Twitter as well. When you create a new tweet you might tweet in a box like this and click submit or hit enter and it will automatically show your most recent tweet it won't actually refresh the page uh, the same with probably the feeds in Twitter um, you'll automatically see new feeds uh, open so this is why we use Ajax and why it's so important on the web today when we don't want boring static websites we want everything to be easy to use and dynamic and that's another reason we use Ajax is because it's really easy to use a website that's been um, enhanced with Ajax particularly with PHP where we're gaining values from a database we can do other things with Ajax but for now we're going to be looking at Ajax closely related to PHP because Ajax is so closely related to PHP where we grab things from the database obviously it can be used with other web programming languages but obviously because this is PHP tutorials we're going to be looking at Ajax and PHP so that's a bit about Ajax how it works what it is why we should use it now in the next um, in the next tutorials coming coming up we're going to be looking at how to um, first of all the basics of that and then we're going to be creating some sample programs to grab some data from databases depending on what we do on the page